Here we have evaluating a cube root function. So it says the function f is defined as follows. f of x equals the cube root of x plus 3. Find f of negative 1 to 5. So notice that x, it was f of x, and now it's f of negative 125. What that means is that the x value is negative 125, and they want to know what the y value is. And we already know that f of x is just a fancy way of saying the y value anyway, right? So what we would need to do is we need to plug in this 125. Everywhere we see the x, we plug in that 125. Now this is just a label for the y value. This is just saying the y value when x is negative 125. What is that y value when x is negative 125? Well, this is negative 5 plus 3 is actually negative 2. So the answer to this problem here is negative 2. Now for the other one, the x value is 8 and they're wanting to know what the y value is. So we're going to plug in 8 everywhere we see an x. This is just a label. This is find the y value when x equals 8. Cube root of 8 is 2 plus 3, we get 5. And so the answer for this one is 5. Similarly, for this example here, we're going to plug in for, ne um, for f of 345, we're going to plug in 345, and then we have to work what's inside that radical first, and then the cube root of 343 is, I believe, 7, yes, and so 7 is the answer there. f of negative 25 means to plug in negative 25 for x. And so then if I evaluate this, I get negative 27, which is negative 3. And so that's the y value there.